Peter, you went halfway around the world for this joke, but I never even got to hear it. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, come on, Dad, tell the joke. All right, you guys want to hear it? All right, so this chick goes on a date with this guy that she wants to fuck, but she's worried because she's got like a huge vagina from fucking so many other guys, so she gets a piece of liverwurst and shoves it up in her vagina so that when he fucks her, it'll feel tighter. <laughs> Peter, maybe this isn't family conversation. No, no, wait, Lois, shut the fuck up. So she puts a liverwurst in her vagina, goes home with a guy, fucks him, everything seems fine. She wakes up the next morning, and he's gone, and he's left her a note that says, Thank you for a lovely evening. However, I don't think this is going to work out. P.S. Your vagina is in the sink. Now, I'm going to leave the room now, as I have just shit myself again. This isn't my box! Oh, yeah, sure. And whose is it? It's mine. I'm Dick Pump, and I'd appreciate it if you hooligans didn't get your eggs all over my parcel. Sorry, I keep getting your mail, Dick. Hey, what's in there, anyway? Embarrassing stuff. All right. If this is to be a smart family, we will have to learn not to giggle at smart things that sound dirty but are not. Balzac. <laughs> Homo erectus. <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> the results have been disappointing. I always thought spotted dick had something to do with Morgan Freeman. I tell you one thing, it's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Today's feature presentation of Glory will not be seen. What? Ah, oh, I love that movie. Oh, man, that's gonna leave a big hole in their lineup. What's gonna fill the Glory hole? In place of Glory, we will be showing Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. What? You can't just shove Shaft in a Glory hole. Yeah, I know. It'd be better to put in that movie about the two girls who meet Nixon. What's that movie called? Dick? Dick would slide right into that glory hole. No, no, Dick's too short for that glory hole. But if you also put in Edward Furlong's movie, Pekka, you got Pekka and Dick in the glory hole, and you got a tight squeeze, but it, it ought to fit. I thought I told you kids to go plow in the field. But, Dad, we've been plowing all morning. Yeah, I can't take any more plowing. I can barely walk. Look, I know it seems like dirty work, but, Chris, you got to spread that seed until your sack is empty. And, Meg, you got to clear away all that brush so he can plant it deep where it needs to be. Okay, we'll keep at it. But I think that hoe is pretty much worn out. Well, flip it over. You can use both sides. How's this one? Oh, Bach is very good. I recommend. And this one? Oh, Mozart, the boy genius. The best. Okay, how about this? Oh, the pussy. I love the pussy. Sometimes all I can think about is the pussy. Oh, look at the pianist. The pianist is so good with the pussy. So you like his early work? Oh, yes. When the pussy was young, that's when you want the pussy. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the back. Never finish on the pussy. All right. No, no, not all right. You found that on page 81 of your Google search. Well, try to belittle it, but even you can see this is a total validation of my work. This is bigger than the invention of sex. I'm going to take the grossest part of my body and stick it in the grossest part of your body. Just once? No, a lot of times. I can actually think of a grosser part of my body. We'll do that too. <laughs>